What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about another PS3 game being ported up to the PlayStation 4 and it is the game that you see before you. Beyond Two Souls for the PlayStation 3 sold over 1 million units and it came out to mixed reviews to say the least. I personally reviewed the game and found it re really, really exciting and uh, I think that it kind of changed the paradigm of what a video game was for me. Now personally, I kind of understood what Quantic Dream wanted to do with this game, uh, that they wanted to make a, a heavily cinematic and story driven, character driven experience with minimal gameplay as far as your tra traditional gameplay. Now don't get me wrong, you do control a huge portion of this game, but it's not in the traditional way. So for those who are used to playing games like Uncharted or Gears of War, this game will not suit your taste if that's what you're looking for, but if you're open to a new type of experience, then I would definitely suggest Beyond Two Souls as a, a, a game for you to try. Now this game has been speculated, now it appears to be known to be coming out to the PlayStation 4. It was leaked through two German retailers named Alcom and World of Games, and is also uh, being listed in Sony's uh, developer portfolio. So this appears to be true. It's coming to the PlayStation 4 at some point this year. Now, uh, what do I think about it? I think that uh, Quantic Dream has been working with the PlayStation 4 since the beginning. They they have uh, obviously mastered the PS4, or gotten close to mastering the, the graphical power of the PS4 by their early uh, trailers of The Wizard or The Warlock. Uh, for the PS4, so their motion capture and their facial animation technology with the PS4 is phenomenal. If they're able to tap into some of that technology during the the uh, the remaster, director's cut of this game, I think it'll be great. Now, I don't think I don't know personally if it'd be a huge financial win for the company because they've already moved a million units of the game and it came out to mix reviews. So, unless you're a hardcore Ellen Page or Beyond Two Souls fan. I don't see you going out to buy this, but just in case you haven't tried this game, let me put it to you this way. If you like good movies and someone came up to you and said, hey man, would you like to see a really great Ellen Page movie? You'd be like, sure. They'd say, okay, the movie costs 60 bucks. And you'd go, holy shit, why? <laughs> what am I paying for? And they'd say something like this. Okay, this is an Ellen Page movie that involves her throughout her entire life being followed or tethered to this entity called Aiden and this thing does all kinds of stuff in her life and, and sometimes helps her sometimes puts her in situations where she can be harmed and scares people and all this stuff but it's a it's a 15 hour Ellen Page movie 15 hours and on top of that during the movie you get to chime in and tell Ellen Page what to do which door to go into what which person to talk to so it's totally interactive it's 15 hours long, it's an Ellen Page movie, and you get to control what she does throughout the movie. Would you be willing to pay for that? Most people would say, hell yeah, I'd pay for it. And on top of that, you get to keep the movie and go back and try different aspects and make different choices. That's very appealing to some. But the thing is, a lot of the people who reviewed this game gave it a negative review because they did not understand what it was trying to be. And I call it an RPM, it's a role-playing movie. But I'm excited about it. Um, I, I won't even say cautiously. I think I'll definitely check it out on the PlayStation 4. Uh, to me, it, it would be more harken to uh, DVD to a Blu-ray upgrade. It looks great on the PlayStation 3. Uh, Quantic Dream appears to have really tapped into the uh, hardware of the PS3 and worked really hard to get the most out of that system as far as, you know, the, the, the facial animations of the characters, the, the motion capture, and the environments, they look great. Look at them. Uh, and so the fact that they've been working with the PlayStation 4 since its inception, they did their Wizard Warlock trailer. You saw what that guy looked like during E3. It looks phenomenal. The fact that they're able to push the PS4 that far ahead really excites me. And I, I'm super excited to see what they're able to do with this game. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think about Beyond Two Souls coming to the PlayStation 4 later this year. There will be a link in the description of this story. I got it from IGN. And I just want to talk to you guys about it and hear your thoughts on Beyond Two Souls coming to the PS4. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.